Uh, great feeling uh, at the last week, starting off. Last week, and then the way it did, we really went and emphasized our fast and uh, going out, scoring 28 points in the first half, pretty much sealing the deal early. Uh, that's what we went out and did. Coach Prime talks to us all the time about what you put in in practice. If you put in the time and in the work and make those plays, you'll get rewarded with playing time. What was that process like for you as you kind of earned your way up? For me, I just kept my head down, just made sure I worked, and did what he asked and wanted as a team. And uh, Coach Levinson and him just uh, let me have the opportunity this week to showcase my skills. Did it feel for you like you've been building to this point? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure, definitely. I mean, I've just been waiting to get back on the field. It's been uh, over a year since I've been on the field, so it's exciting. Right. Can you talk about the community you've had? And, and uh, was there a point where you just kind of yeah, so it was a fifth metatarsal foot injury. I injured in high school too, um, so I could I didn't know what the rehab was like, but it did did uh, definitely uh, go. My confidence level did go down, but I just made sure to show up every day and work. So. Well, yeah, I think you guys you finished nine for eighteen on third down. You started five for five, you were eight for eleven at one point. I mean, how? Important work, those conversions, and, and some of the guys like Isaiah getting you guys ahead of the sticks, making sure you were in those kind of third and manual situations kind of all game. I mean, I think that's why the first half looked the way it looked, uh, getting those crucial third downs. Uh, obviously, LeJounte going to work in the slot, uh, making it happen for us. The running game was way better this week, so I think that really helped us a lot, too. Well, walk us through the, the touchdown catch. Did you think you were in initially? What were you? Um, all I seen was the closest judge uh, rule it out, and then judge farthest away came and started talking to him, saying, uh, "I heard him say left foot," and then they showed it on the screen, and I saw it was in. How far do you feel your offense has progressed? Because like the start of the season to where you guys are now, you start to learn more about who you really are. Is that accurate? Yeah, I think we're really getting that uh, that chemistry. You know, we brought a bunch of new guys in, so. There's going to be growing pains early, and I think we're really starting to get in the flow, and I think you can see that, especially in that first half. Uh, just dialing it up pretty quick. I think uh, you guys had seven sacks today. Mm -hmm. It only allowed six in the first six games. Right. What did you guys see when you were able to get to that more than anybody else on? Um, just honestly, just playing together, just rushing as one with the four of us on the line. I felt like it's very important just to rush together and uh, you can see how the outcome, how how it, how it outcomes. So. I'm, I'm just I'm just glad we got glad glad we got two sacks. How do you know? Well, I mean, obviously they have the onside kick on the first play. How, how personal did you guys kind of take it that you, you got a great field position? You wanted to make it pay for it kind of right away. What you guys did? Yeah, that was crazy. Um, <laughs> I couldn't believe they tried that, and for them to give us the opportunity to have a short field, I think isn't really the smartest thing to do with the off the firepower that we have, and we went out score first drive and didn't look back. Then kind of without Travis today, I mean, what does this say about your team that you guys have you and LeJounte, guys who are used to being kind of number one guys that you're just kind of able to, even if he's down or banked up, you're able to still have you guys that are carrying the load? Uh, we talked about it all summer. Uh, I've tweeted about it, how deep this room really is. We got eight guys who can go out there and all contribute, and we're not going to uh, miss a step or lose a beat or anything like that. So a uh, bunch of guys out there that can play. Right, for both of you guys, big picture wise. This is twice now you guys have responded to a loss with a dominating win on the road. And to start the second half like this, just what does this mean for this as a team to be able to perform like this and kind of get the second half started? So as a team, I feel like we just need to keep going, keep the momentum rolling, just uh, head into practice uh, like we did our winning weeks and just practice good, practice like it's a game. We'll be fine. Yeah, just building, building off what we did today, uh, not coming out next game and starting slow. Uh, keeping the same pace that we're going at right now. Anything else for these guys? So with each win, does it feel like you're seeing more buy-in in the locker room? Like, are you starting to see guys get more fired up coming off a win as a staff? Yeah, I think everybody's been bought in since I got here in the summer. Uh, there's never really been any doubt in what we have. We know we have as a team. Uh, we know where we can go and where we're trying to go. And I think it's just these wins are just instill more confidence every week. Keaton, just quickly, I mean, you guys were able to force the turnover two plays after the offense fumble. I mean, how important was that? How much of a confidence was that to give the offense right back after they had the turnover? Yeah, it's important just 
for him to know, like, the defense got their back and the offense got our back. So we just make plays together, play as one team, and uh, we'll get the win. All right, thanks, guys. Yes. Yes. Sure. Thanks.